We've looked at the various parameters with the radio wave. I want to look at creating a new one from scratch, looking at how we can animate uh, different aspects of it, and ultimately create a preset which will be uh, something that we can reuse throughout our animation. I'm going to start by creating a solid the full size of the composition. And go to the beginning of the composition and click on Radio Wave. Actually, at the beginning, this is an effect where you can pretty much start anywhere. It always likes to start at the beginning and start generating waves. I find that it'll do this even if you have the frequency set to zero for this. If we select this layer, open it up, take a look at the different settings, I'm going to go ahead and set the frequency to zero and see if we get a wave. Sure, sure enough, we get one. Now this is could actually be a useful technique if what you want is to occasionally just be able to generate a single expanding wave and animate the other parameters like the the width, uh, opacity, fall off, color changes, things like that. You have a discrete event here that you can position where you want, although the only way you can position it is by moving the layer to where you want the event to happen. Uh, if you made copies of this or did it multiple times, you could position these things wherever you wanted which is right in the center. If I move it over a little bit here, I can get a handle on it. So I could... Now I have a single expanding ring that starts at about um, almost seven seconds. All right, so that could be useful. I'm going to undo some of these changes here. All right, so what if we wanted to have some keyframes where we could start and stop this wherever we wanted to? I'm going to increase the frequency here so we can see a burst of radio waves starting at frame zero. And then we could animate that off. Now, because the there's no keyframe before that, it's off for the whole thing. So I'm going to create a initial frequency, generate a certain number of waves, and then it turns off at this keyframe. Now these are linear keyframes, so we see it slowing down. If I select them, change that to toggle hold, we get uh, evenly concentric rings. The number of rings we get will be determined by when we turn the effect off. So if I grab this last one and just slide it over until I get the number of rings I want, I have a discrete event again. Now because these are toggle hold, keyframes, I should be able to select them, copy, go farther down, paste, and get another set whenever I want them. All right, so this is one way to work with the effect, turning it on and off, copying and pasting keyframes to turn the frequency on and off, the the frequencies and the expansion value are going to determine the number and spacing of these. If the expansion is smaller, you'll have rings that are much closer together because they're moving more slowly. If we increase the expansion or speed of expansion, then we get more separation between the rings. We also have an effect that 
moves much more quickly. So I've gone back to where I just have one set of keyframes here, and I'm going to copy them to the clipboard. The next thing I want to do is just showing within a single layer having this effect appear wherever I want it to. As you might think, that has to do with animating the producer point. So I'm going to turn on animation for that. It will have created a, an initial keyframe that we see here. And I'm going to turn that into a toggle hold keyframe. And we see the first set of waves produced. Now if I move the producer point, I'm going to use this little guy here to just go and pick a point. Now if I paste Let me see. Let me try that again. So I'm going to, again, copy, paste. Then I should get a set of waves appearing up there. Then I'm just going to drag this over to another position. Go forward a little bit. Paste. Now it wants me to be on the right of thing here. This is acting a little bit differently than it was when I was just doing it earlier. Another way of moving things, although that is changing what I have selected. Paste. Okay, so here we have um, a series of wave effects all on this one solid by changing the position of the producer point. 